What's up everyone? My name is Joseph Cacharo and I am the SCORE's senior basketball writer. As you may recognize from my voice, I'm also one of the voices of Unfiltered. Now we're going to start doing things a little differently around here, so you're also going to start to see a little more of my face in addition to hearing my voice. But it's going to be the same great content and all it really means for you guys is that if you love or hate a take, you'll have a face to put to that take as well. Anyway, let's get into it. There's nothing quite like the frenzy of NBA free agency. And the 2021 free agent class could be one for the ages. Unfortunately, for hoops heads, the 2020 crop is underwhelming, to say the least. But what if I told you there is a pending free agent, averaging roughly 18 points, seven assists, and two steals for one of the league's best teams? What if I told you that this entering his prime 26-year-old pending free agent is shooting almost 40% from deep, is only in his fourth season, and already has a finals MVP vote to his name. I'm talking about Fred Van Vliet, and he's about to get paid. Show me the money! Van Vliet may not have the star name appeal you usually associate with max level free agents. You know Fred, Fred Van Vliet? Freddy Van Vliet, you know him? You know Freddy Van Vliet? But everything is lining up for the Raptors guard. And if you're a fan of a team with cap space this offseason, you should absolutely be hoping your team shows Steady Freddy the money. After a standout four-year run at Wichita State, Van Vliet famously bet on himself by discouraging teams from drafting him in the second round back in 2016 so that he'd have more control of his early career than second rounders typically do. And while it's taken a while to get to this point, in the four years since, Van Vliet's stock has been going up like a crescendo to quote a famous Van Vliet lookalike. The Rockford, Illinois native appeared in only 37 games as a rookie, but helped bring the Raptors G League team a championship in 2017. And your Raptors 905 NBA Development League champions. A year later, he was leading Toronto's bench mob. By 2019, he was swinging the Eastern Conference Finals. And Fleet for three again. And in his first season as a full-time starter this year, Van Vliet almost played himself into all-star consideration. He just keeps getting better and more valuable to the contending Raptors. Van Vliet, who signed a two-year $18 million contract to remain with the Raptors in 2018, is probably going to double and perhaps even come close to tripling his $9 million salary when he hits the open market. On the offensive end, there are some legitimate concerns with overpaying an undersized guard who struggles at times to deal with lengthy defenses, as Van Vliet did against Philly and Orlando in the 2019 playoffs. But as is the case with most of Van Vliet's perceived flaws, the young floor general has used those trials and tribulations to become a better, more complete player. For one, he's developed a pretty crafty layup package that allows him to overcome some of those size issues when he gets to the rim. Van Fleet goes right at Jarebko. Tough shot, oh! Banks it home! How did he get that one to go? Scarred Bucks and Warriors fans may have just thought he caught lightning in a bottle during last year's championship run. But the truth is Van Vliet's become one of the NBA's elite volume shooters. He owns a career three-point mark of just under 40%, and is one of only 11 players in the league this season shooting better than 39% from deep on seven plus attempts per game. As a playmaker and game manager, Van Vliet seems to be benefiting from an education in Kyle Lowry's curriculum. Whether it's the way he seems to manipulate two for one situations at the end of quarters, or the growing comfort with which he's now orchestrating pick and rolls. About tonight, right? It's about trying to go up against Gasol. Nice spinning move. And on the defensive end, there aren't many better or smarter guards in the NBA right now. Van Vliet's sneaky strength at his size allows him to stand his ground in one-on-one -on -one and mismatch situations. But his true defensive value can be found in his movement and his reads. Few, if any, guards are better at surprising big men in the post with a perfectly timed double team or dig that often leads to a turnover. 
and his general defensive instincts have already helped the Raptors seal a big win in the bubble. Against Lowry. Oh my, ball deflected away, stolen. Not to mention, remember that janky box and one defense Nurse and the Raptors made famous against Steph Curry in the 2019 Finals? Don't forget who the one was hounding the two-time MVP up and down the court. 17 for Fred Van Vliet off the bench. Pokes it away from Curry. Falls down. This season, Van Vliet leads the league in deflections per game. He ranks among the top guards in terms of affecting opponent's shooting percentages and he ranks in the top five in steals per game, just ahead of Jimmy Butler and Kawhi Leonard. In short, it's easy to see why even the game's biggest stars see Van Vliet as a dog. Their words, not mine. Yeah, so Van Vliet is, he's stabbed to me as like a dog in the league. Like he's gonna be in the league for a long, long time. However long he wanna play, he's gonna be in the league. And as an undrafted player, I feel like a lot of young guys should be looking at Fred Van Fleet as a, as like inspiration. Yeah, for sure. So add it all up, and we're talking about a two-way star who's still improving while serving as an integral piece of the defending champions. The team that played at a near 60-win pace this season. That's the guy entering unrestricted free agency in a year where there likely won't be any franchise-changing stars hitting the market. Is it that crazy to think Fred Van Vliet might be the best UFA available? At this point, it might be nuts to think that he isn't. Now, if there's one thing working against Fred in free agency, it's that the unprecedented financial hit the league took this season due to the COVID-related shutdown and a weakened business relationship in China, it's that we could see the cap actually decrease for the first time in 11 years. In addition, many teams like the Raptors themselves, will be wary of making any kind of financial commitments that take them out of the running for 2021 free agents, like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Then again, it's eerily reminiscent of the summer of 2009, when the cap decreased, the majority of the league was saving for 2010 free agency, and an underwhelming free agent class led to guys like Hito Turkoglu, Ben Gordon, and Charlie Villanueva getting paid. This year, only six teams, Atlanta, Charlotte, Phoenix, New York, Detroit, and Memphis, have significant cap space. And you could argue that out of those six teams, only the Knicks, Pistons, and maybe the Hornets have an actual need in the backcourt. But any team with cash to spend should be looking at how they can bring Van Vliet in and figuring out the rest later. Take the Hawks, for example. Sure, Trey Young is undoubtedly Atlanta's star guard of the future. But in this age of positionless basketball, and given the value Van Vliet has already proven he can provide at either guard position on a team with another all-star backcourt mate, the Hawks should be bending over backwards to bring in a winning two-way stud. Most fans will probably laugh off the Pistons or Knicks as desperate if they max Van Vliet out. But especially in the case of Detroit, very clearly not a free agent destination, Van Vliet would represent the exact type of culture building star the organization needs moving forward. As for the Raptors, with only Pascal Siakam and a Norman Powell player option on the books beyond next season, Masai Ujiri and company have some 2021 flexibility to play with, even if one of those aforementioned six teams sends Van Vliet's price skyrocket. And it only takes one. With or without a big 2021 splash, the Raptors post-Lowry era would still be in fine shape with Siakam, Van Vliet, Powell, OG Ananobi, and Terrence Davis in the fold. And the team should be careful not to let their grand free agent ambitions cost them a homegrown difference maker like Steady Freddy. Fred Van Vliet bet on himself and helped Toronto reach the NBA's summit. Now it's time for the Raptors, or another team that wants to make that climb, to bet on him too. If the last four years are any indication, the potential rewards are worth the risk. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.